Hello everyone, welcome back again. Welcome back to another segment on personal development. And today, I have something very important to share with you all. And that is the power and the significance of the gifts that we have inside of us. The power and the significance of the gifts that we carry. The power and the significance of the gifts that God has bestowed upon you and I. And that brings us to the topic of today, which is why your gift matters. Because truly your gift matters. Have you ever taken the moment to reflect on the beautiful things that God has placed in your life? Those blessings in your life, the skills, the talents, the unique abilities that God has deposited inside of you. Have you ever wondered why these skills, these talents, these unique abilities are so special? Because the truth is they are special. And this answer, the answer to this can be found in the book of James chapter 1 verse 17. Which says that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. And this verse reminds us that our skills, our unique abilities, our talents, they all come from the divine source. And where is the divine source? It comes from God. It comes, it originated from the divine source, and that is God. This unique gift that God has deposited and bestowed upon each and every one of us, it tells more, they are inside of us, to tell more of God's sovereignty, to tell more of God's goodness. Let me look for the best word to use. They are a reflection of God's perfect and unchanging goodness. They are a reflection of God's perfect and unchanging goodness in our lives. These gifts have been specifically designed to bring out the best in you and I. So that, what? We can all fulfill our purpose in life. We can all fulfill God's purpose in our lives. The purpose that we've been designed for. The purpose that we've been created for. That's why we have those gifts. Think about the times when you have used your God-given abilities to achieve something wonderful, something amazing. How do you feel? Or how did you feel? The feeling that comes from that achievement is always amazing. It's always great. It's always fulfilling. It's a feeling that's soothing. Why? Because you know that it's not something that you can do on your own. There is a divine purpose behind it. There is a divine power behind it. There is a divine strength behind it. There is a divine confidence behind it. Oh, I love this. When we acknowledge these beautiful gifts that God has given to us, when we embrace these gifts that God has deposited inside of us, we are not only using them. We are not only accepting those gifts alone. We are not only celebrating the unique abilities that comes with this beautiful gift that God has given you and I. We are also honoring the Almighty God, the giver of these beautiful gifts. We are also honoring the mighty God that bestowed these great gifts upon you and I. Our gift matters a lot. Why? Because it is a testament of God's faithfulness. Ever faithful God. It is a testament of God's love is amazing love. It is a testament of God's great power. And your understanding of this unique gift that God has given to you through the power of the Holy Spirit will determine when to use it. It will determine where to use it. And we also determine how you will use it. Because truly those gifts are meant to impact the world. They are meant to reflect God's glory. Your gifts are gifts no matter how big or small. 
they carry a lot of power. Not just ordinary power, the power to change lives, the power to touch lives, the power to make a significant impact in the lives of people, the impact that will bring glory to the Father. It carries the power to achieve greater works, just as it is written in the book of John chapter 14 verse 12. And it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, this work shall he do also, and greater works than this shall he do, because I go to the Father. That used to be one of our favorite sayings back then during the school of disciples. Greater works, greater works. Those gifts have been given to you and I so that we can use it to achieve greater works for God. Just as we read in the book of John chapter 14 verse 12. Why your gift matters? Those gifts matters a lot. Those gifts can make a difference anywhere you find yourself. It can make a difference in your office, in your business, anywhere you find yourself at any given opportunity. Those gifts can make a big difference. Those gifts are there to make a big difference. Anywhere you find yourself, in your office, in your business, outside, on social media, those gifts are there to make a big difference in the lives of people because there are souls, there are lives attached to those gifts that God has given to you. You don't have to be big to start. Start where you are and use them gradually and let the impact be felt. It starts with one or two or three people and let the Holy Spirit take over the rest. But if you do not start, you cannot know how to utilize or use them successfully. And sometimes you might not even know what to do with those gifts that you have inside of you, right? And sometimes you might not even know what you're capable of doing. The Almighty God has given us the power and the authority. Do you even know who you are? Do you even know what you are capable of doing? Do you even know what your identity is or who your identity is? I identify with Jesus Christ. Who do you identify with? What is your identity? When you know your identity, you will be able to understand what you carry inside of you and what you are capable of doing through the help of God by the power of the Holy Spirit that has been released upon each and every one of us. Why does your gift matter? Your gift matters a lot because the power of God is behind those gifts. Especially when the gift is of God. Especially when the gift is from God. It becomes the vehicle of your life. And this vehicle is being powered or will be powered by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's why the book of Romans chapter 11 verse 29 says, For the gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. Without repentance in that verse or passage is saying that whatever God has called you to do, he will not change his mind about it. And if he has called you to it, he will also equip you to it. But if fear, the doubts, the confusion, the problem sometimes comes with the aspect of equipping because for God to equip you, he has to take you through the pruning process, a long process. It's called the pruning process. And most people are not ready to go through the pruning process because for God to equip you, he has to take you through the pruning process. And most people are not ready to go through the pruning process. The pruning process is the place of glory. The pruning process is the place of power. The pruning process is the place of light. Anyone that goes through that pruning process becomes a changed man, becomes a transformed man. It's a rebirth of a new life in Christ Jesus. If he has called you and he said he's not ready to change his mind about what he has called you to do, be rest assured that he will also equip you. And for God to equip you, he has to take you through the pruning process. It's the training. Are you ready to go through the pruning process so that you can achieve greater works for God? And anytime 
that you use the gift that God has given to you to serve others. You are also participating in God's glorious divine plan. You are also a part of God's glorious divine plan. Your gift can change lives. It can also create a positive change wherever you find yourself. Whether it is a skill or a talent or a passion or unique abilities, those gifts hold great power. They carry great power, power that can impact the world positively and make the world a better place. And now let's talk about why your gift from God matters a lot. Your gift from God matters a lot because it carries the power to brighten the world. It has the power to illuminate the world with God's love. In a world that is constantly changing, in a world that is constantly shifting, in a world that is constantly evolving, your gift stands as a beacon of hope, of light, of power and of stability your gift is very important let's all embrace the joy of using the beautiful gifts that god has given to us knowing that every good and perfect gift is a reflection of his divine power within us your gifts no matter how big or small it may appear they carry great power the old significant meaning. It's of great essence. Not just to you alone, but also to the one who gave you the gifts in the first place. He gave you those gifts for a reason. And the reason is for his great name to be glorified. And that purpose must be fulfilled. What are the gifts that the Almighty God has given to you? What are the gifts that He has bestowed upon you? If you are not so sure about these gifts, seek His face for more clarity and He will show you and guide you every step of the way. Our gifts are meant to shine brightly. Our gifts are a testament of God's faithfulness, a testament of God's love, a testament of God's power and this will also inspire others to seek him, to come to the light, to seek the light himself. And who is the light? Jesus is the way, the truth and the light. These gifts will also inspire others to seek the light. Every good gift and perfect gift is from above coming from the Father of light, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Every good gift, every perfect gift that God has given to you has a purpose and that purpose must be fulfilled so that His great name can be glorified over and over and over again in your life. And finally for today, please keep away from people who try to belittle the gifts that God has given you. Keep away from people, small-minded people, who try to belittle the gifts that God has given to you. Keep away from them. It's not everyone that sees what you see. It's not everyone that knows what God has told you. Keep away from them. It's okay for you to surround yourself with the right circle of people who will help in your sharpening, who will sharpen you. The Bible says, I don't sharpen it, I am, right? But let God be the foundation on which you stand. Do not compromise your faith. Let God help you. Let God carry you so that you can navigate the journey with ease, with confidence, with 
grace and that will be all for today thank you for joining in today if you find this topic very interesting and impactful in any way please leave a comment below and click the like button and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so you do not miss out on any of our posts and once again thank you for joining in today and until next time stay wise stay empowered and keep moving forward with purpose.